everybody, I'm super excited about today's video. We're going to make the perfect Oreo chocolate cake. This is light, fluffy, and moist. First, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. All right, first we're gonna be prepping our two nine inch cake pans. All right, so first you're going to get a square of parchment paper that's larger than your circle pans. You're going to fold it in half, fold it in half again. Then holding a corner, you're going to fold it in half again, and you're gonna keep folding in half until you get a very small slit of paper. All right, so now you're going to go ahead and take your cake pan, and you're going to line up your parchment paper, the point being in the very center, and you're gonna cut at the end. And then once you open up your parchment paper, you should have a perfect circle. Now you're going to spray down your pan with cooking spray, put the parchment down, and spray it down once again. This will prevent your cake from sticking to the pan at all. Now do the same to the other pan. Now in a stand-up mixer, beat together two cups of sugar, one and three-fourths cups all-purpose flour, three-fourths a cup of Hershey's cocoa, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda, and one teaspoon of salt until everything is incorporated. Now add two eggs, one at a time, beating between each one. Now beat in half a cup of vegetable oil. Alrighty, now add in one cup of milk and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. For our final ingredient, beat in one cup of boiling water. Also remember, that the batter will be very, very thin, so don't freak out. It should be pretty thin. Now pour your batter into your cake pans. Then you're going to bake it at 350 degrees for 30 to 35 minutes. After they come out of the oven and they are no longer domed on the top, take your cakes out of the cake pans and put them in the refrigerator. All right, now it's time to make our frosting. So in a stand-up mixer, you're going to beat together one cup of heavy whipping cream until peaks form. All right, now you're going to take it out of the bowl and you're not even gonna clean out the bowl, you're just gonna put the bowl right back in and we're going to make the second part of our frosting. All right, so after you scrape down the bowl, you're going to add in half a cup of sugar and one eight ounce package of cream cheese. Now add the two mixtures together. Now put it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. Alrighty, now you're going to fold in 12 crushed up Oreos. All right, now it's time to frost your cake, so you're going to go ahead and put the filling in the middle of the two layers, and then just go ahead and put it in the refrigerator while we make the chocolate ganache. All right, so go ahead and put um, a heat safe bowl over the top of boiling water, then melt together two cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips and one cup of heavy whipping cream. Now pour your ganache over the top of your cake.
And there you guys have it, the perfect Oreo chocolate cake. This is super easy and super delicious. But of course, it can't be a birthday cake without some candles. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and always remember to enter the comment competition. Click here to subscribe to our channel. Click here to watch our latest video. Click here to watch the video most recommended for you. And click here to check out our cake recipes playlist.